Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here, and today we're going over another Bang product. I've covered almost every single Bang energy drink in their energy drink lineup, except the teas. So today, we're gonna be trying out the Bang energy drink iced tea flavors. All three of them coming right up. Hello again, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me again on this beautiful Tuesday night, if you don't mind me saying, or whenever you're actually watching this, I don't know. I have to say, I'm actually kind of grateful to Bang. Because of their energy drinks and the reviews that I've done on them, they've actually helped my channel out a lot. My Bang videos have performed best on my channel and have also brought a lot of people to my channel as well. I'm pretty sure a majority of the subscribers that I have were brought to my channel from my Bang videos. It actually makes me wonder if I'd have as many subscribers today if I actually only focused on Red Bull, Monster, and the most common energy drink. But then I get over it and move on. And like I've said, up until this point, I've covered almost all the Bang Energy drinks so far, except the iced tea flavors. So feel free to watch any of my previous videos that I've done on Bang. I've even created an actual playlist so you can easily watch all the Bang videos that I've done. Now, because I heavily reviewed them in the past and went through all the ingredients, the nutrition tax panel, and all the extra health benefits that it has, I'm not gonna go through all those in this video. So feel free to watch the other videos to get all the details you need to know about Bang Energy Drink. And for those of you who've already watched those videos, welcome to this one for the iced tea review. Also, for those of you looking for timestamps, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my thoughts on the iced teas. Then I'll go over some of the ingredients that aren't in the other energy drinks, which will then lead me right in to the taste test. If you're new to my channel and you wanna stay informed on all things caffeine related, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Oh geez, it's right there. It's never so close. I think I'm pushing it. Am I pushing it? I just subscribed to myself. Awesome. I actually forgot where I was. If you want to stay informed of all things caffeine related, feel free to subscribe. I post new videos every Tuesday night. Hope to see you guys there. Also, feel free to share me all over social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. So tell all your friends and family about Caffeine Man. I love the exposure and hopefully they'll love my content as well. Now, some of you may be thinking, oh man, Caffeine Man must have saved the best for last since he's doing the iced tea ones last. Well, it's not necessarily true. Since Bang brought me to where I am today, well, maybe they brought me here. It could have been my charming good looks, or my ASMR voice, for those of you who listened to me before going to bed. Although I don't do that accent, so why did I just do the accent? But anyway, I was hesitant to make this video about Bang, because the truth is, I did try one of these before, and I wasn't really a fan of it. Now, a bad review from Caffeine Man is something that's relatively rare, but I do always give you my honest opinion when I try these drinks, so I'll definitely tell you when I like something, and you know I'll tell you when I don't. You remember this one, right? Of course, in the end, I always encourage you guys to try the drinks out on your own, because everyone's taste buds are different, you guys might like it. Let me tell you, Summer Breeze by Red Bull, some of you guys loved it, some of you guys hated it. So even though I might not like something, you guys try it out for yourself. You got your own opinion. So I'm kind of going into this video knowing that there's one out of the three of them that I don't really like too much. So let's keep our fingers crossed for the other two, right? Plus, people have been requesting this video for a little while now. I actually bought these three back when I did my first video several months ago. I mean, it has to be like four months now. And I actually forgot which one of the three I actually tried. I, I think I know which one. It's one, I, I think I know. But even back then, people started requesting it because they said, hey, you tried the bang. Did you try the iced teas yet? And did you try the coffee? Well, I reviewed the coffee already, but I was always holding off on the iced tea one. But with all the requests I've been getting, I said I have to put my personal bias to the side and do my due diligence, give you guys a review on bang iced tea. It's been on the list for a little while. Need to get it off the list and move on to the next one on the list. The next one on the list you guys are gonna like, well, you pre-workout people are gonna like, because it's also been heavily requested, and I know a majority of my people are pre-workout people. You non-pre-workouts will love it too. It's good stuff. We'll see what happens, but no more hints. For now, let's move on. So, one of the things that really excited me about these drinks was that they're non-carbonated. I'm personally not a huge fan of carbonation, but I deal with it because I have to, and with good reason get the energy from it, get the caffeine from it, and I gotta have carbonation. But not only are they not carbonated, they're also iced tea. Most of you may not know this about me, but besides water and energy drinks, tea is my main source of hydration throughout the day. I drink hot tea, I drink iced tea, 
drink all kinds of tea. Sometimes I'll throw a vitamin water in there or some kind of other drink, but in general, it's gonna be a tea. It's gonna be a raspberry tea, a peach tea, any kind of tea that they make. I've tried a lot of them. I haven't reviewed a lot of them because a lot of you guys don't like tea. I tried doing a tea talk series, didn't work out very well. Maybe in the future I'll get a tea video for you guys. Oh look, I'm doing a tea video now. Not really a tea video though, it's an energy drink. But anyway, back on track. I was excited that it was a tea flavor when I heard that one of my favorite energy drink companies was coming out with a non-carbonated energy drink that was tea flavored. My excitement level went through the roof. Very excited. I think I actually might have been too excited because by the time I actually tried it, I didn't really like it. I think I set my expectations so high that they might have been impossible to reach. But now, it's been so long I actually forgot which one of the three I tried and I've set my expectations a lot lower, so hopefully they'll surprise me and be good. We'll find out. As for the nutrition facts, these iced teas from Bang have all the basic Bang ingredients. You got your zero sugar, you got your zero calories, you got your BCAAs, your CoQ10s, etc, etc, etc. Some of the minor differences are that these iced teas actually have more potassium. Not a lot more, but a little bit more. Your regular Bang Energy has 85 milligrams of potassium in it, which is 2% of your daily value. These iced teas have 170 milligrams of potassium, which is 5% of your daily value. Big whoop. As for the ingredients, what ingredients might be different? Well, it actually has black tea extract and black tea essence. What in the world of black tea extract and black tea essence? I'll tell ya. Black tea extracts, pretty simple. It's kind of like a concentrated black tea. So you're gonna get more bang for your buck out of a smaller concentrated amount. Bang for your buck. I, I didn't plan that one. I was just thrown in there. And black tea extract is actually also sold by supplement companies in capsule form. Surprise, surprise, VPX supplement company. As for black tea essence, it's actually a flavoring used in foods, such as when you're baking and cooking things, to add additional flavor. So it's a black tea flavoring. So black tea essence is a black tea flavor. Okay. And it's also used in beauty products. <laughs> Trust me, type in black tea essence in Google, all beauty products. Three pages, three pages I scroll through beauty products, beauty products, beauty products, beauty products. It took me forever to find out black tea essence, besides being in a beauty product, is a food flavoring, or drink flavoring as well. Huh. Energy drink flavoring as well. All right, let's go ahead and taste these. Here's the order I'm going with. We're doing sweet tea first, we're doing Georgia peach sweet tea next, and we're gonna close with a lemon drop sweet tea. Why am I choosing that order? Because I can't remember if it was the sweet tea or the Georgia sweet tea that I had last time. I think it's the Georgia peach sweet tea because I like peach teas, but I'm not positive. We're gonna start with the sweet, take it from there. Here we go. Here it is, the Bang Sweet Iced Tea. It doesn't have that explosion like all the other ones. No carbonation. And it's not clear. That's, that's true surprise right there. True reaction. <laughs> Unlike the quake. The all clear surprise. But yeah, I mean, it looks like iced tea, which is good. That's what you want when you're drinking iced tea. Energy drinks, who cares what the color is? Iced tea? You want it to look like iced tea. Plus it has black tea in there and black tea extract, so of course it's going to look like black tea. Let's drink it. Hmm. Not too huge of a fan of it, unfortunately. Um, I'm not sure if it's the sucralose that's giving me a weird flavor to it. And the thing is, it's not overly sweet. Like when they say sweet tea and I think Bang is being sweet with all the other energy drinks that they have, I expected it to be really sweet. At the same time, it is fairly sweet. And as all of you probably know, I'm a sucker for a sweet drink. I love the Venom. It's got tons of sugar in it. It's got a great amount of sweetness in it. So there are different kinds of sweet that I like. And even the Bang and the Rain are both very sweet, but they're sweetened with sucralose as opposed to sugar and Ace K and some other stuff. That being said, when I drink this, I can get that black tea flavor. And when it comes to my teas that I drink, I don't drink them without sugar or Splenda. I don't like plain tea, I'm a sweet guy. So I can taste that regular black tea flavor and then I taste this weird sweetness afterwards. I'm gonna sip it again. I'm not sure if they were trying to give it like a bang iced tea flavor, but in general, it kind of reminds me of like a cheap sweet tea. It reminds me of what like Nestle would do if Nestle iced tea decided to use sucralose instead of sugar. So putting my opinion to the side, you can taste a black tea flavor, you can taste sweetness from the sucralose, and to me, it reminds me of a cheaper kind of Nest tea iced tea. Moving on to the next one. Next up is the Georgia peach sweet tea. 
I have a sneaking suspicion that this is the one that I tried that I didn't like because that other sweet tea didn't seem very reminiscent, but we'll see. Another nice iced tea color. Can't tell the difference between the two. Hmm, I actually like that one. It's got a decent peach flavor to it. I'm a fan of peach. We're just getting into summer right now, so that peach flavor is really nice. And probably because I started with the sweet tea first, it didn't have any extra flavoring. This peach flavoring is a nice addition. It definitely tastes like a peach iced tea. It's actually kind of sweet, but I'm not getting a full amount of sucralose flavor like I did with the other one. And the other one, the sweet tea, didn't like taste heavy in sucralose. I just know what sucralose tastes like. And sometimes if they use too much and you don't have another flavor to cover up the sucralose flavor, you can taste the sucralose. What do I mean by that? Most of the bang drinks that have sucralose in them have a decent amount of sucralose in them, which make the bang drinks very sweet. But most of the time, almost all of the flavors are able to cover up that sucralose flavor that it has. Not all drinks can do that. So if you're someone who doesn't like sucralose, you probably know what that sucralose flavor is. That first sweet tea, I could barely taste the sucralose flavor. And this one, I can't taste the sucralose much at all. I can just taste the sweetness of the sucralose. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Anyway, I'm going in for some more. Yeah, that's good. Glad you guys pushed me to do the review because I was still hesitant to do it. But the sweet tea, not a big fan of the Georgia peach. Mm-hmm. Got some Georgia peach going on here. All my Texan watches, you're going to like that accent, don't you? Ooh, that's horrible. I'm going to have to edit that out. That's just, that's bad. <laughs> I'll probably keep it in. Truth is, I don't have much of an accent. At least, I don't think I have an accent. Do people actually think they have accents when they hear themselves? Like, do Texans think that they have a Texan accent? Or do they just think everyone else doesn't sound like them? I mean, I'm not too far from Boston, and I definitely don't have a Boston accent. If anything, I pride myself on not having an accent. So if you guys can actually hear an accent, let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious what you guys think. Do I have an Eastern accent? Because I'm from the East Coast, maybe I have an East Coast accent, and I don't even know it. Then that's gonna make me look up West Coast accent to see what West Coast accent is. I already know the Southern accent. I know the Northern accent. Eh? That's <laughs> for my Canadian friends. Eh? Man, I'm gonna be offending people all over the place today. I still have one more to go, don't I? Whew. Let's do it. Last up on the list is the lemon... Oh, I forgot the name. Next up on the list is the lemon drop sweet tea. Mm, another nice iced tea color. It's not too bad. It's a pretty good iced tea flavor. I keep jumping back to the sweet tea original one because I didn't like that one. But I'm thinking that was more of a plain sweet tea. And maybe with other iced teas that I'm used to having, I'm used to a little bit of touch of lemon, maybe a touch of lime, but maybe a touch of flavoring, like a peach tea, a blueberry tea, all the flavored teas. I'm used to them having a little bit of flavor to them. That sweet tea didn't have much flavor to it. But this lemon drop one is an iced tea with the lemon flavor. In most cases, when you order an iced tea out, they usually ask you if you want a lemon. But if they don't ask you if you want a lemon, they bring one to you by default. That's because lemon just goes with iced tea. So when I drink this, I think of a regular iced tea with lemon. It's got a decent sweetness to it. It's got no sugar, as we all know, but it's a pretty good lemon tea. I'm still liking the Georgia peach one the best. The lemon's in second. I'll never buy the regular sweet tea ever again. I might not even put it on my shelf anymore. But hey, for a review that I didn't think was going to go well, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> That's from a song too. I didn't sing it though, so no copyright strikes. Copyright strikers out there waiting to hit that button on me. I can say two out of three ain't bad. Probably only 40% of you out there know what that comes from. Leave me a comment down below if you know where that's from. Don't Google it. Lemon iced tea. That's all I got for you today. As of right now, June 2019, Caffeine Man has reviewed all the bang energy drinks that they got out there. Except the caffeine free ones. No, I will not be reviewing the caffeine free ones. Someone asked me that, like, oh, you're gonna do the caffeine free ones? I said, what's my name? What's my name? It's not caffeine free man, is it? No, it's caffeine man. Caffeine free bang. Nuts. You guys have yourselves a great day. Or night. I'm still liking the peach mango, not peach mango. I'm, I'm still liking.
All my Texan watches, you're going to like that accent, don't you? Ooh, that's horrible. I'm going to have to edit that out. That's just, that's bad. <laughs> I'll probably keep it in. I've been to Texas before. They kind of sound like that. <laughs> I say it's racist, but that's not racist. It's like statist. Statist? That's not even a word. Some of my new subscribers didn't even know I was from Massachusetts. They were on my Instagram and they're like, hey, you're posting from Massachusetts? Like, yeah, I live there. They're like, oh, I thought you were from Arizona or something. It's like, what, my Arizonian accent gives me away or something? Truth is, I don't have much of an accent. Easy. Resting on my set. Everything's falling down. Oh, maybe that'll be in an outtake. Wasn't sure if I was going to have any outtakes today, but knocking over all my cans will be one.